is the Polynesian NFL players, right? If you notice, a lot of the Polynesian NFL players, they meet their wives in college. They're, they're, they're white girlfriends or their, and, and future wives uh, in college. And if you notice, a lot of these, these uh, Polynesian players, they go to the top prestigious top, uh, top colleges in school. And if you look at this, and if you look at the college statistics, a majority uh, of these schools, the top the top schools they go to, they play football for are white, and majority of colleges are dominated by women, right? So if they're going to college and, like I said, they don't see a lot of Polynesian and women, they, and the majority of women they see is going to be white, there's a high probability they're going to they're going to like they're going to date and uh, and date a, 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 white, a white woman. So it doesn't have to be. Like I said, that that's one of the things I was uh, I wanted to explain to a lot of you guys out there that it's um it's exposure, right? So it doesn't matter for a lot of these ladies out there. That's why a lot of upon uh, a lot of the white women tend to find these, these high value guys because they're exposing them a lot more, especially a lot of these Polynesian men that tend to rise in this in higher socioeconomic status. They tend to when they go to college, when they go into business, when they start becoming very successful. You don't see a lot of uh, the Polynesian women going into those type of uh, social economic places or ladders or spaces as they rise up. You know, the average Polynesian girl is, is at home with their family within the community, right? So, at the more successful a man he is, he's he has to leave his hometown to go be successful. And a lot of times, the places these the, the, these men tend to go to to be successful, it's majority of the women in that level of life, in that level of that uh, in that social economic level, those guys they only see majority of white women. And like I told you guys before, men, we're still going to be men and find love and find and find sexual attraction and, and, and pleasure. So more than likely, they're going to be able to date um, a white women. And also don't forget that these white women are pursuing these types of men. So that's why there's a high probability, probability for a lot of these white women to find these Polynesian players and find these Polynesian high value men and date them. All right. And also don't forget, especially with, it doesn't have to be sports in general. It doesn't have to be NFL sports. It also be very, it'd be high earning careers and businesses. And like I told you guys before, like I said, if you start a business, if you want to start going to a high earning career, whether it's in tech, whether it's in medical school, like look at the majority of uh, types of women you see in those industries. A lot of times it's going to be white, right? You don't see a lot of Polynesian women going to high earning careers or becoming entrepreneurs, starting businesses. Or, or even like I said, going or, or to going to those top notch um, college sp uh, sports team and college teams that uh, these guys go to to play football. A lot of times, majority white. So a lot of times, like I told you guys before, it's, it's just exposure. It's just being the availability of the types of women these guys are around. And like I told you guys before, these guys are leveling up in life. They're, they're reaching a different level, and all the women in that level, a majority white. So naturally, by balance of probability, they're gonna. I wouldn't be surprised to have a higher chance. Of no, of not only dating these white women, but also these white women approaching them. They're not taking things. They're not waiting for these men to date them. They're going out there actively pursuing these men. So all those factors has a high probability of why a lot of Polynesian men date white women, not because of colonization and not because of um, that we, uh, you know, we think that we think that the white woman is more beautiful than than the Polynesian woman. It's just that they, like I said, they're more exposed to that, especially when they rise up in their socioeconomic level.